Hey guys, Ben here. Now this video is going to be a little bit different for me. See, a lot of you already know that I'm a big Apple user. I own a lot of their products. Most of my unboxings and reviews in the past have been Apple products. And every time I've tried to do a video of an Android product like I did with the Note 9, it ended up not going well and I didn't even post it. So that's why I was a little bit surprised when OnePlus actually reached out to me and sent me their brand new Nord phone to check out and review for a video. So I thought I would check it out and let you guys know what I think about it and give you my overall impressions as an iPhone user, especially bearing in mind the fact that iPhones tend to be over $1,000 and this thing is only 400 bucks. So first, I wanna start off with my favorite features of this phone. The first thing I've noticed switching from my personal iPhone XS to this phone is the screen. It's much larger at six and a half inches and looks incredibly bright and vibrant as it's an OLED screen. And thanks to that hole punch camera in the corner, all the screen real estate feels much more accessible than it does on my iPhone with its big notch. The screen also makes my phone feel much smoother than my iPhone thanks to its 90 hertz refresh rate. Although that speed could also be attributed to the internals of this phone. It features a Snapdragon 765, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and 256 gigs of storage. This equates to really good real world performance as everything I've thrown at it during my time testing, which has mainly been content creation and social media consumption, has worked flawlessly. But by far the thing that I've used on this phone the most are the cameras, and this phone has a lot of them. There's a main selfie camera and an ultra wide camera on the front of the phone, and then four more on the back. A main shooter with optical image stabilization, another ultra wide, a portrait lens, and a macro lens. Now those last two have been my least used lenses on this phone, and in agreement with Marquez Brownlee's assessment of this device, I think OnePlus just threw them in there to say they have four cameras on the back when they're really not high quality enough to actually use in day-to-day -day practice. However, the other cameras in this phone are quite nice. The main shooter produces really sharp, detailed images that overall just look great, especially for a mid-range budget phone. And the OIS motor, in combination with software stabilization, allows it to capture some of the smoothest video footage I've personally seen from a phone. The ultrawide is also a very nice camera and produces vibrant images, although it definitely struggles with details and shadows and the softness around the edge of the image. Despite this, the ultrawide is still my favorite lens on this camera. I use it all the time when filming vlogs like this style right now. And yeah, it struggles a little bit in low light, but give it enough light like right now and it produces some incredible looking images. And combined with the cameras on the front where there's an ultrawide and a main selfie camera, this has become an invaluable tool for filming my YouTube videos and I definitely love the cameras on this phone. This phone also has some other features which are quite neat. It has a dual SIM card slot, making this a great international traveling phone. It also features an in-screen fingerprint reader, which I've come to like a lot more than Apple's Face ID, and I think it's overall a more elegant and seamless solution, even if it's a bit less secure. And while this is primarily a plastic phone, OnePlus has put a coating around the metal rails and made the back nice and dense. So this thing overall feels very premium, even if it's made of cheaper materials. So overall, I was blown away by my experience with the OnePlus Nord. Sure, it's missing a few premium features that you get in most flagships, like that metal build quality or wireless charging. But overall, for 400 bucks, this is a pretty fantastic deal. OnePlus has seemed to hit all the most important points when it comes to a smartphone, and they packed a pretty big punch with this. In fact, I would argue that this is a much better deal than Apple's own iPhone SE, which I reviewed just a couple months back. For now though, I definitely recommend this phone if you're in the market for a sub $500 phone, especially an Android phone. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the OnePlus Nord. If you did, please hit that like button, leave a comment down below letting like, me know what you thought. And subscribe.
and make sure to subscribe. I will catch you all in the next video, which is coming very, very soon. Peace. Can I do one without you guys? Wait, the like and subscribe was really good. All right, fine. I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. <laughs> All right, bye guys.